Hello and welcome to today's episode of TSARP. I'm your host, Andrew Weir, and today our co-hosts are Sam and Steven. Hi, guys. Hello. Our first topic today is a new topic called the Scratch Report, where Sam's going to give us the rundown on all the new Scratch news. I'm excited. Me too. So am I. For our second topic, we're going to be talking about an awesome tech gadget to keep you cool while coding. And finally, we're going to end off the episode with some hackathon news. All after our intro. So, Sam, what's our topic for today? Uh, today, our topic is Scratch Camp. Yeah, I actually saw that the other day when I went on Scratch, but I didn't actually know what it was. And I'm normally not on Scratch that much, so I uh, <laughs> yeah. I was definitely interested by it, but I didn't read it. So, can you tell me a little bit about it? Yeah, um, so pretty much it's a Game Jam like event that happens every year. That's cool. How long does it last for every year? It lasts for three weeks, and there's a new theme every week. That's cool. So what is the theme this year? This year, the theme is Space, Stars, and Beyond, but every week there is a smaller theme uh, based off that. It's like dark mode, but if we chose a theme at the beginning of summer, like if we did underwater, and then one week could be like sunken ship, another could be like sea fortress, you know, that's cool. That's That's a really cool idea. I've never thought about a game jam like that. We could maybe do that next year. Who knows? Yeah. Have you seen any games that you like? I have seen a few games that I like. Uh, I find that some of them are really impressive. So maybe next week or the week after that, we could maybe even show them off on the podcast. See what games we like. Show, you know, like show our favorites. Um, But it definitely Mm -hmm. sounds like a cool event. And thanks for sharing. Of course. Today's T-Sarb Tech Review is sponsored by Ranvu. Ranvu sent us out one of their Ice 3 wearable air conditioners, and I've been wearing it for like the past week. I was telling Sam all about it. It's like the best thing ever for like when you're inside. I mean, I've been inside this whole week um, working on dark mode stuff, preparing for the Code Conquest. That is today, if you're listening on the day of release. Um, and it's it's been really great. It's been hot inside. I've had my I've had it on uh, full power, and like you wouldn't even know it was summer. It's the best thing. I've worn it outside. I've worn it inside. It's really cool. Um, It uses a ton of sensors, too. So it's got a sensor for your heart rate, your blood oxygen. It's got a ton of different things. So it knows when you're really hot, so it can turn it up. And it it doesn't just do cooling. In the winter, it also has a ton of heating features. It can go up to 110 degrees Fahrenheit in the winter. Oh, my God. Yeah, I know. (laughs) If you are cold, it can really fix it. Um, it's a really cool device. It even has a Bluetooth speaker. So say I'm inside coding, right? Really hot out, and I like to listen to music while coding. I do it sometimes. I know a lot of other people like to do it. Um, it that would be great because you can just hook it up to your computer or your phone. It plays music, or maybe you're even like outside taking a walk, taking a run. You can have your phone in your pocket playing music, and it just plays through the air, uh, the speaker on the air conditioner. It's a really cool device. It would be cool to test it in a hackathon. Yeah, that's a great idea. I didn't even think about that. It would be great for hackathons. Like, you know, when you're in, like, the room, especially now that all the hackathons are in person, except for, you know, the summer one. Um, Now that the CCDU hackathons are in person, you know, the room gets hot because everyone's in there. Um, yeah, that would be a really great (laughs) use for it. It might be a little too loud. It might distract some of your teammates but no i think i that's definitely a great idea maybe i should try it who knows (laughs) how long is the battery life that's a great question i've been using it on full power so like literally lowest temperature i can get it full fan for like five hours straight and it hasn't and it lasts like five hours i plug it in and like within like two hours it's ready to go again for another five hours 
Um, but if it's on like a lower setting, it can last you a lot longer. Like you can have it on a medium setting for like all day long. So it also tracks your steps and calories and miles walked. So those are a lot of cool metrics that it records. You can also see the weather forecast. So it will tell you if it's cloudy, all that. You can control it by the touch screen on the side, or there's also an app that you can connect with Bluetooth. So you can change everything. Um, and also with the Bluetooth, you can and play music. If you guys want to get it, like I said, use the link in the description. And if you want one-on-one -on -one personalized after sales service and a free extended warranty of 180 days, all you have to do is join their exclusive club with the link in the description. Thanks again, Ranvu, for sponsoring this segment. Before we end off today's episode, I want to give you guys a little update on the Summer Code Conquest. By the time you're listening to this, it's actually probably over, so I'll put the link to the replay in the description so you guys can go watch it. At the time of recording this, the hackathon actually hasn't happened yet, so we don't know who won. So next week, we'll do a whole episode on that and what places we came in. What we do know, though, is that the theme is going to be French. I know we speculated that a little bit last week. Sam and Steven gave what they thought was going to be the challenges, so we'll see how that stands up. And it's going to be a really cool event, and I cannot wait. Thank you all for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.